Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is another uh, Stroke Pro Connectulation tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to perform nonlinear analysis. In a previous analysis, a previous tutorial, we also learned how to perform direct analysis, pushover analysis and also p-delta analysis. Other three tutorial also was nonlinear analysis, but in Stroke Pro Connect Edition there is a separate option that you can perform nonlinear analysis. So then this nonlinear analysis based on the geometrical nonlinear procedure. So you you would there is something that you should remember your solid cannot be used for this analysis and temperature load also not supported. And there is also some other trick we will discuss inside the start pro uh, examples. So for this analysis we have to provide a absolute displacement like uh, like pushover analysis. So in the start pro that's called arc field and we also need to create some iteration that the program will create equilibrium deformation position as well as we need some tolerance so the tolerance is can be uh, a small one until the program uh, reach to a convergence uh, we need to uh, define a load steps that the displacement should be divided by this load step and then take the total time of the analysis and uh, we also have a rebuild steps which is equal to the tangent of matrix we also have another option that's called kg we already discussed in the kg which is equal to the geometric stiffness matrix you can check because uh, this is a geometric static analysis nonlinear analysis so this is quite important you should be check this problem this one and another uh, thing is optional that you can set a displacement limit to the program should do not uh, increase from that limit. Otherwise, when you define this one in here in the first displacement, absolute displacement, so the program can go until that one. In case if you add uh, the set uh, displacement change, so the program will uh, will set to this limit. And also, you should define like um, a pushover and node that should be a control node which you're applying that exact or target displacement in that node. So, within that, you have to specify the degree of freedom or the direction of the uh, load. And the last one is uh, we also can set the target value as a displacement limit. So, as example, we have this example. I'm going to give 100 and this is 75 75 and this is the last one is 50 so we have this example uh, structure with uh, 2p HP has 5 meters and also 3 stories H2 has 3 meters and we have W section and W10 and W8 and we have this following analysis and we will do a first an elastic analysis to get the displacement and then uh, we will uh, conduct an analysis then we go to the program and we create a nonlinear analysis tutorial and save it it's called yes now for the samples I use a structure wizard which is quite fast to create a model and I'm going to here and giving the length is 10 meter which is 2b HB has 5 meters and the total height is 9 meters, so h is 2d is 3 height. So the other uh, direction is 0. So this is a 2d structure. It's to 0, 0. Now we go to the properties and define some section. Uh, so the first section is w10 for the column. And we come to w10. Uh, here is w10. w10 by uh, 16 for the column and w8 uh, 14 by for the beam so and I'm going to select column and come to the select here is beam I'm going to use this one sign and the second is beam and selecting the X direction and assign so the member is assigned and next I'm going to add a specific material KSI 15 to the entire structure and in the support I create a fixed support for the base of the structure and then assign to cursor view assign 
the, the everything is done and now we are in the loading so here is the important part when you do a uh, when you do a linear analysis uh, an, a linear analysis or elastic analysis so then you can create multiple uh, multiple load multiple load but in uh, in in the nonlinear, but you have one ro uh, choice to create one loot. You can give it as a, a name, which is including the gravity loot and also lateral loot. So you cannot add. Uh, let's see here is the gra the dead loot. I cannot add two uh, loot cases. So the entire loot should be one loot case, but including the dead loot everything. So. Now just why so I have one load, just I call it lateral load. In the lateral load, I assume this none, and now I can add the first add self width of the structure, and also member load is minus 20, and also adding some new load. The first one is 100 and the second one is 75 and the third one is 50. So this is the difference that you will do in the nonlinear analysis. So I'm going to assign to view. Now I'm going to assign uh, this loop to the specific elements and select here. This is beam and I'm going to select X. And the last one I want to select the node. So node assign to the selected node. And I want to assign to this area. And the last one is here. So the entire load is added. So we can f do first a linear analysis and a linear analysis to see how difference is with the nonlinear analysis. So I can go to the analysis uh, menu and I want to define here. When I give perform analysis and that that analysis is elastic analysis. So I can uh, run the program and so it's quite fast. And it's quite fast and I can see the results <clears throat> so for the sample stages we want to um, this is new 10 I want to see the uh, maximum displacement in this location so the maximum displacement is uh, 62 almost 62.8 or uh, 9 if I go to the summary and here is 62 max 62.62.8 so i can uh, write here in the elastic analysis this is 62.9 millimeter now we want to go back to here and in the analytical model and analysis step and going to delete this command <coughs> so now we now we will check the analysis command again and this time we will define nonlinear analysis. So in a previous one was preform analysis which is elastic and the second here is called nonlinear analysis. So the following uh, parameter is necessary to fill. The first is arc which is the absolute dis uh, displacement. So how much the absolute displacement you want to apply to the structure, structure should uh, response. So let's suppose this should be 300 millimeter. Uh, or 400 millimeter least 400 millimeter and the number of iteration that you expect the program should iterate I want a large number 200 and the tolerance is equal okay and the load step is let's be uh, 400 steps and the rebuild steps let's suppose be one and here is the, num the node that you want to sit so sit displacement here is node 10 you can check it and the degree of freedom is equal to the uh, x and the target in case uh, you can see this is actually 
uh, optional because we already gave 400 if I set 400 so the program will uh, push to 400 if I set 200, 300 so the program will do 300 so let's suppose that be 0 0.3 which is equal to 300 with a little less than this one I'm gonna add and now we want to run the analysis based on the nonlinear response and now the null analysis takes some time because we increase the number of iteration you can see iteration is reached to 200 this each load steps we have 400 load steps so each step is increasing so they're taking some more time to create the equilibrium equations Now the analysis uh, finished and it almost takes them um, about two minutes. So I'm going to post processing and you can see the uh, the result. So this is the lateral loot and we have uh, created. So we fix that should be uh, 300. So that node node 10 is 300 millimeter. So we fix that limit and now uh, using this uh, uh target displacement and uh, we can see the structure response so we can go to the beam and you can see the graph of uh, moments and also you can go to see the reaction force which is created uh, after and these amounts of uh, displacement uh, we also can uh, see the uh, moment in x y here beam result in X, Y, M, uh, any of these. So based on this uh, analysis, based on this null analysis, we can uh, create uh, uh, a large displacement and or design displacement target, and then we will design the structure. So let's suppose you wanna, uh, that your structure should resist until 2% drift, which is equal to 100 millimeter. So in the null analysis, you will uh, choose the target is 200 millimeter so then you can come back and then you will do the ana design if I go to back to the analytical model and in the design part and I should assign the code and define some parameters let's suppose all of them and now defining some command it's going to be check code check uh, here is when I assign check code and the target displacement I go back here this is 10 meters so the maximum displacement should be for me uh, uh, one percent is 90, 90 millimeter if I go to 22 percent display displacement design that should be about 180 so first here I wanna make some changes let's go to edit and this should be 200, uh, 200 and the target should be uh, 1.8 so it's equal to percent of the drift now uh, I go to back to the analysis and in design I'm going to assign to the elements so as well as in the define command I can uh, select optimize so the program will determine in case this is not sufficient for 2% drift so then the program will uh, create a proper uh, section for me now I can rerun the analysis and we it's called your model changed so now we can wait a while to analysis finished and then uh, uh, the program will start to design that structure for us 
Now the analysis and design is finished, we can go to the view output file to see how the design is worked. So now you can see it come to the member, member 4, and it's failed because the displacement is quite large and then we should create uh, uh, some 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 sort of uh, uh, let's see we called some brassing system or some damping system because the, uh, the for the extract still structure so the maximum or allowable draft is one person so in case we have two that's quite high and most of the uh, element will pass and now uh, uh, unless otherwise noted so uh, this is some other member with the program uh, defined uh, yeah some new member so the same member is actually failed Uh, even the program you can see here 21 is pass but in the beginning so there was uh, this one pass because it's 10 16 in some case and uh, this one is failed so now uh, finally we have uh, those uh, profile with the program is introduced they passed so you can see here member 14 parameter 2 and parameter 2 and we can go to check from the member 1 parameter 2 most of them is passed with the program introduced for us but in the first parameter parameter 1 parameter 1 this one you can see here it's failed this is our introduced parameter the second the program introduced the first member one is passed and now you can instead of the first one with this uh, target displacement so the program will resist 200 uh, 180 millimeter so you can choose uh, this profile for your uh, and design so that's all uh, and this is the end of the tutorial and if you have any question, please put in the comment and I'll find time to answer you. And in case if you accepted this design, then you can go to the uh, still to drafter and you can create the, the, uh, the some uh, takeoff and also some uh, detailing here. And you can create the detailings by uh, called uh, a drawing you can go to the drawing and you can also uh, drawing style style and you can change this data as well and then view the drawing style here and you can go to the section you can create section or plan projection YZ and projection and uh, anything that you wish uh, let's go to the plan and create uh, one Sorry, and I should full section not grid is uh, I should uh, select one grid so the grid zero and create draw and you can see the first and this is just plan so then we can go to the section and also other drawing as well like this you also can uh, create the material takeoff but you have to uh, number the section and also material properties is here so this is the uh, design and uh, the predefined uh, members so uh, when you come back to the uh, properties here so you can see the design and the structure is here now new element is added so you can select those necessary elements for the structure so let's end see you next time